The credit bureaus are always in trouble with the FTC or the CFPB. And I'm gonna show you some consumer laws to knock them out. Whether you're trying to remove personal information, hard inquiries, collections, charge off, late payments, it doesn't matter. I wanna show you how to crack the code so you can start getting results like this. Hold up, before I show you that step-by-step -step process, I really need a huge favor. We are on a mission to help more people to knock the credit bureaus out. So if you could really please hit the like button so we can spread the word, right? So we can help more people get results like this. I'm gonna break this down into four steps. Step one, the first thing we gotta do is gather information before we knock the credit bureaus over their head, all right? So you wanna go to Identity IQ and go get your credit report. Yes, it helps support the channel, so the link is in the description. I got a special offer for you for that, all right? Now, after you get your report from Identity IQ, you also wanna get your annual credit report, all right? Because they got some information that we need so we can knock them out. Next, call experience call TransUnion, call Equifax. Here's why, they also have some more information that's gonna allow us to be able to get the things removed off our credit report, all right? So, just give them a call. Now, once you have your reports from Identity IQ and your creditreport.com, now what you wanna do is analyze. You wanna look and see what's holding you back. Do you have student loans with multiple late payments? Do you have a charge off? Do you have a collection that just reappeared? Or do you have a collection that just got added to your credit report? Do you have hard inquiries? Do you have a bankruptcy? Do you have eviction? Do you have multiple late payments? Do you have a lot going on? You have to analyze your credit report first. We gotta gather the information so we can use the specific codes to be able to get the things removed from our credit report, all right? So once you understand what's holding your credit score back and all the negative accounts, here's what you need to do next. Step two, I call this the backdoor method. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to create a free account with Experian. Yes, I have a link in the description if you don't have an account. All right, now once we have an account with Experian, what we're about to do is dispute our personal information online. Now, if you didn't know, Every account on your credit report is not only attached to your social, but is also attached to your personal information. So what you're gonna do is dispute your personal information, but here's what's gonna happen. Some addresses, they're gonna allow you to dispute, but some there aren't. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna see the ones that you can't dispute because they're gonna be attached to specific accounts. And you're gonna see which account is it attached to. Now, if it's attached to that negative account, just write it, document it, make sure you save it in, the, save it in your notes because we're gonna use that information to be able to get these accounts removed from your credit report. Step three, I'm just gonna assume you have a lot going on. What I mean by that, you have a collection, charge off, bankruptcy, eviction, student loan, student loan with multiple late payments, child support, have an open account with multiple late payments, all right? You have a lot going on on your credit report and I'm just gonna break down what I would do to remove all those negative accounts off your credit report. Now, I know everybody's scenario is different, so just listen to me and basically use the specific um, consumer laws that I talk about with that specific account so you can go ahead and get the desired results that you're looking for. First things first, here's what we need to do, all right? So since there's a bankruptcy on that credit report, here's what you can do. You can either call the courthouse, you can either send a letter to the courthouse, or you can go to the courthouse requesting the letter that stay in that, hey, they don't report to the credit bureaus. All right, now this process is gonna take a little bit of time, but in the meantime, here's what you can do. Remember, when you looked at Experian, you saw that different variations of your first name, different variations of your last name, different variations of your address, different variations of everything, all right? Here's what you want to do. You want to craft the letter based off of 15 U.S.C. 1681, all right? So 15 U.S.C. 1681 EB, 15, 15 U.S.C. 1681, um, the first specific law, and you have the right to privacy. Everything has to be complete and accurate, and they're supposed to have maximum possible accuracy, all right? So as you saw, different variations of everything. So you want to create a personal information letter telling them to remove that personal information and only have this name, this address, this job, this phone number. That's the only thing you want to have on your credit report. Delete everything else or I'm gonna see you, all right? Now, remember, I'm not an attorney, so make sure you consult with the attorney. Hold up, now that we got that out the way, here's what we want to do. We want to attack those collections on those reports, all right? So here's what you want to do. You want to go to your Identity IQ report, go all the way down to the bottom, and what you're going to see, all the creditors' information. So we want to get that information to actually attack the collection agency. Now, we're going to send the letter, certify, all right? You want to put the name, the creditor's information, the address. You want to put the account balance, the account number, and telling them, hey, I refuse to pay this debt because I have life going on, all right? Now, you already know what you have going on, but if they communicate with you after you send that letter, 
either call you, send you an email, send you a text message without saying that they are uh, cutting off communications, guess what? That's a violation of 15 USC 1692 C, all right? So now it's time to attack that eviction, that charge off, and those repossession, all right? Based off of these consumer laws, 15 USC 1681 S-2, 15 USC 1681 EB, 15 USC 1681 I, 15 USC 1681 I-5. Sometimes we just gotta be a little aggressive, all right? When it comes to the Greta Bros, we gotta, you know, Knock them out. So here's how you want to create this specific letter to attack those specific accounts. All right. You can say their TransUnion, their Equifax, or their um experience. I just looked at my credit report, all right? I just looked at my consumer report and I just noticed some things were inaccurate based off of 15 USC 1681EB, 15 USC 1681I, 15 USC 1681 S-2, and you know, the other laws, all right? So I just looked at my report and I just know everything was incorrect, all right? Delete this account immediately or I'm gonna sue you, all right? We just gotta be aggressive with the credit bills, all right? Let them know that, hey, they are in violation of these specific consumer laws. We ain't playing with the credit bills, all right? So make sure you only list that charge off, that evasion, or that repossession on that specific letter, all right? I'm gonna tell you what to do with the other accounts. Just make sure you have the account name and the account number and delete this account immediately due to the violation of this law, this law, this law, or I'm gonna sue you, all right? We ain't playing with the credit bills. So, if you have student loans, if you have child support, if you have open accounts with um, late payments, here's how you wanna create this specific letter, right? Now we're gonna set them up, like I always talk about before, we're gonna set them up with my secret letter, right? We're gonna ask them, hey, check the completeness and accuracy of this specific account, and if it's incorrect, delete the account, all right? We already know that it's incomplete, but the reason why we're doing it this way is because with those accounts, we want them to do an investigation, all right? So if you have student, now if you have student loans with multiple late payments, you wanna do this process, all right? Now, if you have student loans in good standards, you shouldn't touch them, just pay them back, all right? But you can still get it removed off your credit report based off of the incomplete and inaccurate information on the report, all right? I didn't say it, the law says it, all right? Everything has to be complete and accurate once you read the law. If you go to 15 USC 1681 EB, maximum possible accuracy, all right? So those are specific consumer laws. So you can use those specific consumer laws to get those things removed from your credit report, all right? So their experience, their transunion, their Equifax, can you check the completeness and accuracy of the specific accounts listed below, all right? So list that child support account, list that um, student loan account with multiple late payments, list that open account with multiple late payments, all right? You wanna list those specific accounts and tell them to check the completeness and accuracy of those accounts, all right? So here's how we're gonna create a new letter to attack the hard inquiries on your report, all right? So we're gonna use the consumer law based off of 15 USC 1681B, all right? Permissible purpose. When you call Expir, when you call TransUnion, when you call Equifax and order that report, guess what? When you go all the way down to the bottom, look under the hard inquiry section, and also what you're gonna see is soft inquiries, but most importantly, the hard inquiry section. What you're gonna see is some inquiries have permissible purpose and some don't have permissible purpose. So you wanna create a letter based off the ones that don't have permissible purpose, but make sure it's not attached to no revolving account, all right? So the ones that don't have permissible purpose, you wanna drop off a letter and say, yo, I just checked my report and I just noticed that according to 15 USC 1681B permissible purpose, and these specific hard inquiries listed below don't have no purpose to be on my report. Delete them immediately or I'm about to sue you, all right? Like I said, we gotta get aggressive sometime. So that's what you wanna do to remove those hard inquiries. Step four, this last part is very, very important. So pay attention to me, all right? That letter that you created for the collection agency, make sure you send it certified to them. But that one for experience transunion and Equifax, make sure you send it certified. Make sure we have separate letters and put it in separate envelopes and add two forms of identification. But we know the credit bills is gonna violate our rights. So here's what you should do. You should come join us live Click this video right here, come join us live, and guess what's gonna happen? You're gonna be able to ask the lawyer what you can do if they violate your rights. So, hey, click this link right here and I'll see you in here.